Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have 2x squared equal to 2x. Okay, so what will be the first step? Do you remember that if you have anything in bracket and it's squared, everything in the bracket will be squared? Okay, this is 2 squared multiplied by x squared okay so this will now be equal to 2x okay i hope you agree with me and then from here we will have 4x squared equal to 2x now if you divide both sides by 2x you're going to be wrong okay so the first thing you should do, or the next thing you should do, is to bring 2x to the left. So that we have 4x squared minus 2x. And this will now be equal to 0. And by the way, this is a quadratic equation that we can factorize. So, to factorize this, 2 is a common factor x is also a common factor so i will have this okay so from here now two will be left in here and one x will also be there minus from here two x divided by two x this will give um one right so this will now be equal to zero then from here we apply zero product rule Okay, we apply zero product rule, and it says that if you have two numbers or two expressions to multiply, it is either, okay, if they are equal to zero, their product is equal to zero, then it means that either of them is equal to zero. So this means that it is either 2x is equal to zero or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Let me show this very well. Okay, so that's from here now. We can, you know, say that our x is equal to 0 over 2. Or on this side, 2x is equal to 1. And then, x is equal to, by the way, 0 over 2 is defined because it will give us 0. Or on this side, our x will be 1 over 2. Bringing the two solutions together, we have x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 2. And then the original equation remains 2x squared equal to 2x. And if I put 0 in there, that means I have 2 times 0 all squared equal to 2 times 0. 2 times 0 will give me 0 squared. And 2 times 0 will be 0. And by the way, 0 squared is still 0. And then this means that x to be equal to 0 is correct. And then if I'm having um, x to be 1 over 2, then I have 2 times 1 over 2 squared equal to 2 times 1 over 2. Okay, and then 2 times 1 over 2 will give 1. So we have 1 squared. Then on this side, 2 times 1 over 2 will still give 1. Because 2 can go there and we have 1, Abby. Okay, and 1 squared is 1, right? So this means that... Um, x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 2 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.